houses, you know, so that when we have family members, they can come and be in our houses and things. A house is just a home, and it's a place that you raise your family. I tell people, shucks, I built a big house once and sold it because the big house was just too much. All of our vacations and everything, the house was 10,000 square feet. All of our vacations and everything were inside the house. You know? <laughs> People would come over and hang out and stuff, and it was great. You know, I had pool rooms, theaters, and all that type of stuff. And when they'd leave, you know, we'd be at the front door. See y'all later. You don't come out to the car? No, the chain won't go that far. <laughs> you know? I tell people, buy a house that you can be comfortable in, and you can even get yourself into a situation if you're uncomfortable and you can afford it on one income, then you say, hey, how about we just go on vacation for this week? Because we got the money to do it, versus keeping up everything. And you at the front door like I was. All right, see y'all later. Come on back. We got everything. You got amusement park and everything. A roller coaster downstairs. All right. Plenty of space. <laughs> we have a family union. Tell everybody to come in the house because we can't leave. <laughs> all right. So one thing I will tell you and that I will leave you with, you know, we talk about credit doesn't exist until you request it, and we talk about how lenders give you money based on the chances of you not paying back. Those are two big rules. But this is how deep people are in the system. I'll tell you about that story about the boat and the credit, you know, cut the anchor and sail out and everything. A lot of times people are again, oh, I'm not going to foreclose, I'm not going to bankrupt, I'm not going to do so-and-so, because they think about their credit. When I tell you credit doesn't exist, right? Here's the thing. You guys say, you know, people make the statement, I want to be financially free. I want to be out of debt, right? Do you? Or you want to be in debt? You want to be out of debt? Financially free? Then what difference does credit make? If your whole goal is not to use it, but yet you're holding on to it. People won't even get married if he got bad credit. I love him to death. He's a hard worker, but he got bad credit. And I'm Mary's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. You get out there and you look up things and they say you need to be an educated consumer. You need to be a smart consumer. You need to be a dedicated and a sharp, you know, a, um, you know, a, a wise consumer. If you look up the definition of consumer, it's one to consume, one who devastates, one who exalts, one who eliminates, one who wastes. You are an educated waster, a dedicated exhauster. I'll stand you are so deep in the system sometimes that I try to make sure that Jack can pull you out and make you look at the big picture. Don't just stand in line and say 30 year fix, 30 year fix, 30 year fix. And I say, how long are you standing there? Two years. Why do you need it? I don't know. Everybody else is doing it. <laughs> All right? These things that I've told you, I try to put a little bit of understanding on it, not just guidelines so that you said I fulfilled the class and I got a certificate, but that you can really start using this stuff to apply it in your life because truly being able to learn something and apply it is when you truly learn it. If you learn it and it's just a feel-good high moment and then on Tuesday you're back to where you were, you shouldn't even jump to the class. All right? If you have any questions, you know, please feel free to um, give me a call. I thank you for your time.